Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to do a complete guide in jungle in a video in which we'll talk about how I played Talia in season 11 at around mid season as we are or well sort of two months close to the end of season. Basically I played Talia jungle here for this video with Dark Harvest. I play her with Chipshot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Prince of Mine, Cup de Grace in these rune stats. Uh, right here, let me show you attack speed because we want to clear faster and these early auto attacks are good. And we are playing most likely with Sork Shoes first or as fast as we can, then Lost Chapter, somewhere there between them or exactly when you buy Sork Shoes you can also go for Reckle Lens. And then we're thinking something like do we need Everfrost? Do we need Landry? Do we need Lilith? Well, in this context, Landry's would be good only if there would be like two champions like Rel, so Rel and Orn or Rel at least. So in this case, uh, Landry is not good. Everfrost might be good because these people like to deal a lot of damage, but I think I'll go Ludens for the burst so that we can one-shot Corky or one-shot Yone or Karthus or Samira. And so we're going to start blue, and when you start blue, you want to actually stick close to it so that on this side your top laner doesn't get damage. Uh, basically, I start top with a reasoning, I, top side. On top we have Atrox into Yone, which is uh, basically and should be an easy matchup for the Atrox. And we want to be mid and bot. We have a Tristana Swain and they have a Samira Rel. Now, their Samira Rel might int if they are exactly <laughs> already inting, uh, I'm gonna smite because I failed my Q here, don't mind me. I shouldn't have smited there, but at least I'm full HP now. Okay, so Swain got a kill, what? Tristana got a kill, and so we're already winning boss. Now, that means summoners are used, they don't bother to ping, but what you need to do as a Talia jungle main is to disable chat, because almost no one knows what your champion does, so... <laughs> Instead of taking advice from random people in your solo queue, you'll randomly get good advice. Instead of taking advice from them, you just focus on what you know you have to do, like farming, getting to Ludens, helping the lanes that have prior and not the other ones, and so on. And so, muting chat is actually the best way to play this. Gonna take this, gonna cast any here, gonna do a proper W, full Q, alright, kiting it down. Now, you're about to die, maybe, so I'd like you to back off. Gonna do a full clear. Kartus is doing the same, I'm against the Kartus, so this is a farm fest with level 6 easy ganks by Kartus and more uh, ganks by me should be, actually, but they are hyper pushing. I will go for my scuttle, but I don't think you can dive that, man. Please do not dive that. Okay, Swain might die. I'll start to approach that. I'm gonna do a full Q. Alright, I don't care if there are still... I don't care if there are still uh, minions left there. I can dive here, but I want this first. So I'm gonna get this. Kartus might be here already. He's probably a scuttle though. No, Swain, don't end. Well, we win this, right? That's a win. Coming. Later, later. That's fine. That's worth. I could have flashed so that we don't lose here. I am the same CS as Kartus, but now I'm gonna get some advantage because of this wave. This because of this large wave. And so I have to push it in. Like this. And I don't wanna miss the cannon, but obviously if you time your Q wrong, you're gonna miss the cannon. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Can we actually get the plate here. Oh, it's before minus five. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to my Gromp. Uh, I see Kartus level 5. I'm not sure what they are doing. Tristana is level 3. I'm, I'm recalling I'm going for the boots and the red trinket as we spoke. And he's just making him lose CS. And Atrox didn't die on top on the gank, that's great. And my Tristana has 2 kills. And their rail has 3 kills, that's insanely bad for them, man. So now I can go here and try to force a gank on the top side. But I know he knows that I'm here. I know he knows, because he just backed off insanely well. 
So that means something here is deep worded. So I'll just take this. And that's just bad. Never mind. Good. Okay, I'm seeing the Yone. I have the plant. That means I can jump here. I can fail to jump here. And I can move somewhere there to predict him. But if Yone gets level 6. Oh, but man, he might see me. That was simple. He didn't expect that, that's why I took the kill so easily. So I'm just gonna full push this. Man, don't miss the cannon. Don't miss the cannon, man. Now, I'm moving here to see if there is a Kartus exactly. And we can just do that. And I should be careful to that. So I ruined Kartus. I'm 3-0 now. This is in Grandmaster in solo queue, by the way, so... Oh boy, I think she loses that. Okay, that's a 4. Okay, this is Grandmaster 300, 400 LP somewhere there. I'm not sure why they are playing like that. I don't think I'm playing good or great or anything. I'm 4-0 already. This game calls for a Magi, but uh, I will go back and get the ring only. And then I will get a... I will get the Magi only if this game keeps going like this. Uh, they have no actual Drakes taken. I have no Drake as well. I will go actually top again. I have to, because that's a free kill for me. And because, uh, why? Because Yone is making level 6, and Yone wants to fight the. Yone wants to fight the Atrox, so. Okay. The only problem is that he might lose this fight. Nah, never mind. But can you kill him? That's great. And we're gonna push it in. Cartus is both sides. Uh, Corky dies mid. That's great. I have to go onto my both side. I have to recall now. I have a lot of gold. Okay, we can do one more rave. Let's steal this. Okay. So I've put Atrox ahead. He can actually get plates. He can actually get plates. Yone has nothing. So I can just go for this. I can also go for that. It's better than the ring right now. Than the. What ring am I talking about? Dark Seal. I'm very ahead. And I can go bot and kill the Rel. I'm ahead in CS. I'm ahead in farm. In levels. I'm two levels ahead. Depends if you leveled up from that. Uh, I have a good top laner, a good mid laner. Everything is good. So I have only to focus on the bottom where the Rel has a lot of kills. And I can take care of them if I play properly. Now, this is an example of a game that goes extremely right. Uh, no game will go like this, especially if you are beginning right now to play Talia. Games won't go like that. It, Talia isn't an easy jungler to pick up and just do this. So you have to take it from the beginning and understand how this champion works. As you can see, I didn't want to do many ganks. I wanted to focus on farming and keeping the farming lead, which is crucial and important and the levels up. And we have a dead, we have a dead uh, level 4 Tristan actually. Because they mismatched a lot of their stuff. Now these two guys can actually murder me here. I think they wanna dive. So that's great for me. Okay, and if you get rail here, which is quite a thing to do. Okay, we got a huge shutdown onto the rail. They dived badly. The ADCs in this game. Uh, the level gap is insane on bots, man. I'm a bit scared. Uh, have you seen that? This is, I promise you, this is solo queue. Ah, uh, well. Perhaps jump on him? Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. And on top he died. I am 6 0, but this puts a lot of pressure on me to carry it, and I freaking lost that flash there. I can probably auto attack this to get a plate. And then I can go wolves. I should go Magi's as fast as I can. Okay, I shouldn't have taken that minion. I can go here, I can check for the scuttle. Probably uh, it's the scuttle is not here. Oh, okay, I'll take it. The thing is, whichever jungler dies first now will lose the game. 
Corky and we have a package for Corky. I can go here, I can take this. Kinda was hoping to go back and get instantly the Magi. Okay, I can be here. He did get a flash and all. Then I'm two levels ahead. We should actually go and chase this one. I know Cartus has a word in that bush. Okay, I'm not going deeper than this because I might get flanked. Okay, did she, did she escape? Okay. There might be a cork coming. Okay. Uh, potion, potion, potion. Don't die to Landry. Great. How did Sven die? Did he AFK into that? Well, I'm already full HP, you can see how the healing goes for this champion. And if, if Corky flanks me, I'm full HP. So I'm level 10, I'm, this is a hard carry, it's an insane carry that I have to do. And I have to help again the top laner. Mid laner is fine, because it's a level ahead, but top laner is not, and Yone will scale insanely well. So I'll have to go for this, and then I'll have to go to instant Magi. I know I'll stack it because I'm very far ahead, so I'll have to go. This might be a bad idea to some, but considering 5 kills are on rail, I'm in a good spot. Because I'm in a spot in which I can get 3 kills. In which I can go top and stack my Magi up, I'm gonna get hit by this. It doesn't die, it's great. I need to recall, man. I need you with HP. And I also start to have to look for the Drakes. That Samira is dead. She has to be dead there. Okay, so my ADC came back into the game. That's great. I'm gonna start pushing it a bit with the red trinket. Gonna start going like this. They cannot. They cannot see me. So I, I got here and I can actually go and gank top. If I'm flank, I can also gank mid here. That's that's a good mid flank. It's a very good mid flank. Okay, so that was a free kill onto the guy. Gonna go bot for the scuttle. Car to sint it. So I got the first four stacks of the measure. I am level 11, two levels ahead. And there is a Drake coming in. So I'm gonna get that as well. Okay. I'm gonna see this going through. Okay. Gotta get these stacks, and she stacked it pretty fast, but we got it. On top, Yone is starting to win, uh, but that's not an issue that big, really. I can go for the Drake here. No, he's not gonna come here. He has no reason to come here. See, that's why you don't follow pings. He character sets around. They're bot, his bot side, his uh, top side, sorry, and he's probably doing Herald, if not, ganking top. I thought that was an enemy, so I got panicked there for a second. And I'm gonna go and do a full Q onto the, onto the Corky. There is no Corky. Still that. Okay, as I predicted, Cartus was there. I get this tower. Let's get this tower. Okay, Atrox on top. So that's insanely good. 10 stacks already. We can actually push more. I'm staying here because. Yeah, because of this. I was baiting that one very hard. And now another level for me. And there is a card to salt. We can power farm this, we can check this side. There is nothing, we can go do bot side, then scuttle, you have to keep going. You can see I'm 905, it's a full Grandmaster game by the way, it's not... I'm confused also why they play like that, but the Talia matchup into the Cartus can go like that if you think it through, and if you're careful with it. Okay, so I can get that. I'm going straight into Rabadons because I want as much pure damage, pure value as I can. And I keep stacking these levels up because if I don't, I will just fall back, I will be start being useless. Now I'm seeing Corky. We're seeing Corky, right? He's probably gonna go around here or mid. If he comes here, we can one versus one him, we can one shot him. As you can see. 
can just jump onto him and get another kill here chase him up 18 stacks of magi he took also the wolves i could have gone onto the bot we get a kill onto the samira and i move to the scuttle i do not get stuck i always rotate i always go places that's what people don't do so, and i also don't lose my bounty that's the perfect thing you could do it's the perfect gameplay ideal okay i'm gonna back off because there is a car to salt in the yone that can murder us so i'll just back off 22 stacks rapidons instantly and then well not quite finished but besides that I could also probably sail this to get a stopwatch. That would work against the card to salt because he'd want my bounty. Okay, we have here a play, we have here, we start to see here the buffs. They hinted a lot this game and that might be due to the fact that some people are filled. But this is what we like. Playing around the strong lanes when we can, hunting down the bad uh, well not the bad players the players that kind of gave up well, we can say the bad players so i okay i can go in this bush right now i can try to hunt down corky again it's probably not even worth it so i'm just gonna go like this and i don't think uh he's hitting me with that look at that damage man okay i think i got him Okay, we got that going, we got the flash of the Corky, we can take this tower. Oh god, the damage I'm dealing, man, to the tower. I have to back off, well, I don't, because Corky, because there are three people, Yone is dead and Corky is back, so I don't have to back off, I have just to push this in. Keep the push up. Now, Corky might come to me, so I have to go away from this. I have to go to the blue. Maybe he still chases me. But yeah, he's bot. I see him bot. So I do not partake in the intings of my team. That's one difference that you can see and do. And I could go here and murder Kartos again. And I have to be careful though when I go like this because I know he's there, but there might be words. There, this might be worded. And so. Alright, I can stay here, but no, there is a there is a scuttle, I move to the scuttle, then I recall and move to the Drake with the with the full Rabadon's three level gap that I have. Just don't. Just don't. I have a lot of gold. I have space for vision words, which you should always buy, that's very important. You can see my build. It's an insanely damage-oriented build. I'm three levels ahead of my top laner, which is Wow. And so we can fight now everyone really. I'm two, 22 stacks of Magi, which would have not gone up there. I wouldn't even buy it if I wouldn't be ahead. Okay, we have that. I'm looking now so that I participate in this fight. I'm gonna ult like this. Perhaps get the Yone as well. Well, Kartus moved in, so he got one shotted. But I cannot really go closer to this. Okay, I'm going straight to the Drake because it's important. They can actually push, they can actually do that. And then we're thinking of Baron. If I don't die, I cannot lose this game. If I don't die and keep farming and keep doing that, I guess I smited it right now, but really there is no one who can steal it. There is absolutely no way to lose this if you're playing it smart. Now I'm going to take Kartu's topside jungle because the uh, we need to create this vacuum of resources, this space in which we punish for their early inting, so that we no longer let them get close to us. I'm gonna cast this and yeah, stay like this. I'll just plant this there. He can come if he wants to. I will one shot anyone who comes. See? Cartus has no jungle now. Because Cartus has no jungle, it's very impossible for him to do anything really. And I can actually hit him three times. But I don't mind. I have this. I can just back off and buy my Zonias. Okay. 
and now I go back. I still don't have the gold for Zonias, but it did save me a team fight. And that Atrox just healed for full. I'm actually going to buy an Elixir and go Baron because that's how the game goes and the game ends. I've actually played as the best this year, honestly, in this game. Although I just abused technicalities by their enemy team, so Samira, Corky. Wow, that's a Wombo. So, in this context, they might go Baron. So, we want to counter that by trying to go here. No, we can't. By trying to stop them. Yes, I'm gonna take that. It's the level that I want. I'm not going closer than this. So I'm good. As you can see, I'm not letting anyone come close to me. Okay. I'm just farming. Farming kills. And then I'm healing back up because I have Ravenous Sansa. And they cannot really do anything to stop me. They cannot come close, they cannot fight me, unless Rel does a really good engage. But I can stop these engages by positioning myself properly, like here, and waiting for Rel. Because she doesn't have a word here, most likely, she cannot know I'm here. Say she jumped here, she might have word this. We don't know, but we can do a full combo. Yep. Now we back off, Star Baron. We can Star Baron here for free. I'm very far ahead. Uh, Corky Package. We don't do Baron with Corky Package. We don't do Baron with Corky Package. So you don't follow bad, bad plans because Corky has a package. So we don't do that. No. Just ignore the Tristana. Ignore the Tristana with the Corky Package, we lose, man. Okay. I want to do a fight in which we first win. The Corky package just hinders us. And I can actually catch her here. Oh. That's why you don't fight against the Corky. Why risk it when you have a 15 kills to Leah? Why lose half HP on starting Baron when you could just one shot anyone who really comes into your way? I get that. Get this. It's impossible if you play it like this to actually lose the game because I'm dealing too much damage. We're going to lose it only if we get to level 18 and I have full build and we don't end. That's where we lose it. But I have 21 stacks of Dark Harvest. I one shot a lot of people and we will get also soul from this context. So we can go now towards that. We can start to move. I'm level 16, yeah. this just let me recall get my zonia or my void stuff for that matter i can even go in an atemas if i think someone deals too much damage to me <laughs> that would be funny but now we go there we go there we get that it's free Cartus has no flash so we cannot really get into the pit corky has no package yeah we can also get this so don't let them it's the Drake first, so after that, after the Drake, we get the we get the Baron. They might go Baron when we go Drake, but that did be too good, man. Okay, and now we move here, and you don't have to die. We move here, we win a fight, we get Baron, we end the game. That's all. We win. Also, we stop their scaling by going for Soul. Well, it's a bit longer than expected, but it's the safest route, really. Can someone else tank, please? So I can deal my entire damage kit. Perfect smite. And now I can actually jump here, just to showcase the amount of damage that I deal. 
Like, that wasn't even a combo, that was a Q. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stopwatch that, because I don't want to get dealt that kind of damage to my face. Oh. Okay, this is where we can lose if we're not careful. Swain is doing too much, but why is... Why is everyone HP in that Rooks and Tristana? In Cork? Ah, why is Ganon there? Tristana could have killed people here. Yep, like this. Well, she can... She can kill both. And Atrox can win this fight, so... Yeah, it's it's a free win. So you just go this, you just go that. It's, what is this? With lethality, attack speed, sort of weird Atrox build. But yeah, I shouldn't have died. I didn't want to. I got flanked by the Rel Yone combo. It's not, not a problem. I gave a lot of gold. I think it's too late for them to actually win because we have a late game Atrox, late game Tristana, Cannon ult and Swain of all things. A Swain ult. So we're very good. So 15 kills going for my blue and then going for the top side part. They also have scaling, don't get me wrong. Corky is insane in scaling. Samira has an insane ult if called correctly with the rel uh, combo. And yeah, but no one. I think can actually kill the Atrox if he does his Qs. He heals a lot out of them with Gore Trinkers. And I also have the still 3 level advantage, which I have to keep. If I wait, I lose the advantage, then Kartus becomes as useful as me, and so we're gonna lose the game. What are you doing, buddy? And probably Cannon could have lived. What the fuck was that? Sorry for the language, but Swain just one shot at the guy. Look at him go! Cannot. Cannot help you, you're too far away. Well, that was the game. GG, well played. Well, I don't want to showcase this kind of videos on the YouTube channel strictly because it creates false pretenses or stuff. Like, this champion is not 1 versus 9 hyper carry unless you play it perfect. So I do not want to create a false idea about what this is. But thank you for watching guys, and I hope you learned something from this gameplay. From how t I went to the lanes that needed, how I got fed, how I did the builds and the runes. It's much more... I did not explain that many things, I guess, that's how many concepts as I tried to just survive and do my thing around the map. So I suppose if you do that correctly, you can just climb easily. I am at a, like 350 or so LP towards 400, but I like to play Talia more and do YouTube videos than Pantheon, which with Pantheon I generally climb. But yeah, I, I got four honors, I've dealt most damage, not even most damage in the game. Swain was actually first. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and see you next time and a wonderful day ahead. See you next time, goodbye.